So last time we played Eastwood, um, we made it to Esther City. Finally, we got off the monkey train with all the monkeys with their acting and so on. We got our hands on Isabel's rocket and we made it to Esther City only to find out that time is going round in a loop. Every day we arrive back at this graveyard where apparently a guy called Solomon, who we've met many times before, but at different stages in his life, so there's weird time stuff going on. Um, he's apparently died, he's been buried, and then we get back to town and we have to deliver some letters and by the time we've finished that, time looped back around. But each time we learned a little bit of something different we could do to try to advance things along, we found a group of people who know a bit more about what's going on. It's like they've been waiting for this moment to break the time loop. And we find out that Solomon might not actually be uh, dead. Because he showed up here and Alva spoke to him. Uh, not Alva, Izzy, sorry. Because Izzy's here with Alva after Alva got hurt. People here apparently never age. That was the legend. Now we know why. Time is looping. And the more time people spend here in this loop, the worse it gets. So they go around and they slowly forget anything other than their initial purpose until the loop, and then they, they forget that they looped. Initially, you'll remember you've looped, but eventually you forget. So, yeah. And these guys were keeping themselves ready to go. And look at these <laughs> weirdos. Oh my god. But we found an underground lab where apparently we need to get something called the Flame of Time, and that will open up the tower over in the train junkyard where Solomon had his lab. Apparently he turned on the machine to create this time loop. So, but he died, apparently he died. He, or he dies in the time loop, so he's always been buried ever since. Um, but he might not be dead. I don't know, we'll find out. It's all very confusing. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. So now we're underground. Got all this to explore over here, I guess. So how's everybody doing? Everybody having a good day? It's Monday, so hopefully the answer's yes. Let's go up here. Oh! Chop. So I have plenty of food, I have an ammo and bomb box, we're good. Wow, she straight up kills those guys. I should have been using her... Oh, oh no, okay. That's fine. The remote bomb. I should have been using her from the beginning against the miasmic weird things, right? Why do we have two places to blow a hole into? That's so weird. Also, I should... Oh, I'm in the wrong person still. There we go. Working on stuff for next weekend where I'll be going uh, to a, a con. Nice. What kind of con are you going to? Is it something arty that you're working on? And... Oh, crap. Got these are timed bombs. Oh, this is where we come out up here. We were trying to figure this out earlier, like, I was like, how do I get up here where this other pathway is? 
Right, we still don't know how to get into that one down there, though. The water level's too high, and we can't go in. So maybe what we're going to do now will unlock the water level. Who knows? Uh, let's see what's up here first. What's these things? Not what I wanted to do. Oh god. Ah, damn it! They keep. Oh, I keep getting knocked out. There's a beepy thing up here, and I want to find it. Ah, it's underwater anyway. Okay, I see it now. We'll come back for that when the water level drops. God, I hate these freaking. Puffin, Toucan, whatever the hell they I'm not an ornithologist, I don't know. These guys suck. <laughs> Look at these bad doggies. Oh, yep. Boom! Blow the shield. Salty salt. I can't believe I've died 17 times in this game. <laughs> like, really? Really? Ah! Ah, they're spitting shit at me. Another advanced gear. We might have enough to buy some uh, upgrades in town, if we can go back there. Not entirely sure if we'll be allowed to now. Got those bloody shields. Getting them. Tentacles. Very last minute there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Slightly more alive dogs. Ow, they do not. Hang on a minute, I've got a frigging disc launcher, haven't I? Wow, they launched themselves a long way. them midair though they they keep coming <sighs> oh the twin stick accuracy I'm terrible at it This launch is really good. I like that. Okay, so where are we? We're up here. 
My guess is this will bring us back around and down. Right, okay. This one, aren't we? Uh, oop. And we're going to need to split the group. Steam. No. Ah, no. Let her go. Add blob. Power recharge. He has an ability for that, right? Stuns. Oh, that's stunning monsters. That recovers hearts. Let's try using that. Not enough special. sure if I need to do this or if it can be done yeah no probably not ooh okay Flame of time, that's what we needed. I was like, oh god, she got yet more- Oh no! It's looping, of course, we had to get there just before the loop. <gasps> to be continued, but we just started. More wibbly wobbly time things.
We're back at Solomon's funeral. But at least now we know we can go and open the tower. Yes, was he a good man or a bad man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you've told us this sermon before, dude. Get better material. Write something fresh. Let's hurry, John. Now we have the flame, we can go to the Eternal Tower. Captain Pam, we found the flame. Let's get back to Esther City. You remember the first time we took to the sea, Captain? Ah, sea, me favourite word. Of course I remember. Nay, I could never forget such a heartwarming event. Ha 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 ha. Ring. How is that the same bell? Hmm. Seems we're ready to weigh anchor then. All aboard, you scurvy dogs. Make sure you close the door good and tight, you old pothead, else the wind will blow right off. Blah, 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 blah. So I guess he's, now that he's gone back round in the loop, he's forgotten again. Captain, we're going inside the Eternal Tower today, so we won't be able to help you deliver the letters. That's so, huh? That's so. Then, your little firecrackers must have found yourselves the flame of time, is that it? We did. It was beneath Solomon's grave. It was there all along. Was it? Hmm. <laughs> and the day's finally arrived! Sorry for the outburst, but I just couldn't help myself. You wee jackanips, run along now, and if you need anything, we'll be right there to help. Captain Pam, do you really not remember anything? Ah, uh, I'm afraid nothing's coming to the old noggin, no. We've forgotten many a thing over the time, but there's still some things your heart won't let you forget. No matter how much you want to forget them, ain't that right, little Sammy? You do remember. We're off to the tower, then. And we'll definitely, definitely bring Alva and Isabel back. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, dudes, the your operation is not going to go well. Hopefully we can help them with that. But we know the chip in the mail isn't going to help. We know that the one that the other guy has in his head, uh, Solomon's old friend, Floyd, doesn't really work properly because there's something about Daniel having way too much power in his core or something for the machine to work properly, so... Yeah. Sucks to be him, basically. You know what, before we go in there, we should make food, and... Oh, and I should... I forgot. I have stuff and things... ...to buy. I could get an upgrade for the weapons. Why is this guy here alone? Hey! Why is it in my numbingly cold here? All I want to do is finish my study and grab a drink at the bar. Yeah, but where's your lady? Laddie, you mean the student of mine? Why, do you know each other? She's quite the astute student, I must admit. No doubt she'll grow into a fine scholar one day. Yeah, what, married? She's my student, God damn it! I'll not have you slander her like that. That's different. Something's changed then. Because they should be trapped in their loop where he's 
confessing his love to her in a clumsy kind of way. Uh, the food shop's over here. Actually, no, I need to go to the other one. I need to go get the upgrades first. So I don't run out of money. So I can get the cog fire upgrade. Bomb expansion. Mm. Get one of those and one of these. So cog upgrade, we'll get that. Even though it's not actually cogs, it's a circular saw. Who are we to question these things? Can now buy another cog thrower upgrade. With the other parts. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, they painted it green. So I can't get the other upgrade now. Plenty of the other stuff. We don't have enough for a backpack expansion. That would have been good to get as well, but... Alright. To make... The pot belly thing... Was just... Meat. Is it just one meat? No. You have to throw three meat in still, right. Just spam clicking. Alright. See, nothing makes meat taste better, in my opinion, than adding more meat. That's the way to do it. Now we can go. Correctly, Isabel used the flame to light these things, but how did she do it? Those be the cages of time! God, Captain Pam! You're all here! Then you didn't forget. Forgetting things isn't so bad, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's you remember things all over again. Not wrong. Old Thomas over here filled us in on everything. What happened in the past and what happened yesterday. 
about the flame too. Yeah, because he's been living outside the time bubble. The, the wizard guy has been living outside the time bubble. So he's the only one that's really been able to fully remember. And all they've been able to do is hang on to the memory that Thomas is waiting outside the time bubble to tell them shit. <clears throat> do you know how I'm supposed to light these things, like how Isabel did? This thing is Solomon's design, so long as you have the flame of time, you should be able to open the door. You've just got to focus... Focus on the flame in your hands. Focus on the flame in my hands. Focus on the flame. There is no spoon. Ah, quite something that was. The door should open now, shouldn't it? Seems you're still missing one thing? One thing. Indeed, perhaps your friend will be able to help you out with this one. This is where we're going to have the operation, is it? We need Daniel's heart. Rip it out of his chest. <clears throat> uh, allow me to explain. This little scrapling's got way too much energy built up inside him. Not so wrong, then. So much that none of my equipment back at the shop will store it. But... but you already took our money! Hey, 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 let's calm it down now. I haven't gotten to the main point yet. It's precisely why we're going to have the operation here instead. In front of the tower? I see. We can use the door of the Eternal Tower to absorb this guy's energy. Not only completing the operation, but opening up the door as well. You bald genius, you really know your stuff. Well, still not as much as me, though. Like hell, you only wish you were as smart as me. I'm not bald, my my hairline's just receded a bit to the back of my head. I'm not bald, my head's just getting bigger, that's all. That's great, you're gonna be able to finish your operation, Daniel. If my calculations are correct. The energy inside of him should be just enough to open the door, which is should wrap up on the operation just about perfectly. No, no use me yapping on about it. The best proof will be to simply try it out. Come on then, kiddo. All our hopes are resting on your iron shoulders. Okay. I like how it just goes along with it, like, oh, right, cool. That sounds fine. This is perfectly normal after all then, right? Sweet. Um... What am I supposed to do? Just standing there ought to do it. Maybe a little bit more in the middle. In the middle, just... just yeah, there, that. there we go. Good lad. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, ooh, oh, oh. Um... Ooh. Okay there, kid. At last it opens. Then the operation was successful. I'll say it was. That abnormal energy of yours is gone. Kaput. How do you feel, Daniel? I'm not sh sure. Mostly just tired. A side effect of the operation, no doubt. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, I'm just tired. The two of us shall retire then, though I await news of your own success with bated breath. Are you sure you're okay, Daniel? You look really weak. Why are you asking me that? He's gone! Ha ha The time has come at last. Bet that old Solomon never thought this day would come. I don't know, he probably did. I knew my theory was correct, this door makes the perfect container. If I had a little more time, I could love to study it. Hey dude, you're about to have all the time in the world. Or maybe less of it, I don't know. 
No one knows what's in that tower. If you run into something too strong, don't be afraid to run away. Come back and stock up on anything you need. <laughs> oh no! Boss fight ahead. Sorry, but I'm afraid we won't be able to follow you inside. The time field inside the Eternal Tower is too strong. We'd, well, we'd probably disappear. Why won't we? We've been here a while now. Just how much energy was in that kid? Never thought I'd live to see the day someone could finally open the door. Alright, in we go. It's all very Zelda-like. Like we've just got into a Zelda shrine. Uh, oh god, there's... Countdown happening. we do it? There was like a bar at the top of the screen that was like ticking down. Maybe we'd have been killed or yeeted back to the entrance. Okay. Puzzle time. Yeah. Select floor. Up. Cancel. Those are weird floor names. I will go to floor up. Thank you. Platform two. Two power sources for this one. Shit. 
Gotta get better at that bomb placement right near the end of the game. <laughs> Maybe not. We're still getting upgrade components. Oh, ah! Snack! Sneaky snack. There we go. Oh crap. Hey, you're in tea! I'm alive, my internet is back. Excellent, I'm glad to hear it. When did you get it all back? Was it, did it take too long or? Or did you manage to get it fixed fairly quickly? I mean, I know you were waiting days anyway, but. I'm glad to see that it's back. I just wanna aggro one of them. Friday, 7 a.m. to Monday, 5 p.m. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, that's still crap. <laughs> so it's probably, yeah. Uh... Oh, because they don't work on weekends, I guess. All right. Shrimp in. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Sunday is nationwide do nothing day. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong as well. It kind of should be, but. When you've got a broken internet connection, that still sucks. <laughs> Alright, so John's still there. Excellent. ISPs pretend Saturday don't exist. <laughs> hey, Luigi! Oh god, nope, nope, nope. These guys again. How's it going, Luigi? Nice to see you, dude. How's life treating you today? Boom! Got it. Hey, there's the key locker. We actually have a map of this place. We do. Ooh, good. So that passage there probably will lead into there and probably come back into that chamber from the north. Cool. And then we have to go that way to do a power thing for the rest of the elevator. All right. Nearly there. I'm stress testing your internet, uh, but stress testing uh, 1100.8 megabits is hard. Wow, yes. I've never had an internet connection with that kind of speed. The one in my last house was uh, 200, which was lovely. But yeah. Oh boy, we gotta get in there, have we? 
Oh god, we've got a timer. Oh god, no, I'm screwing up the controls! Ah! Go! Like I get a reprieve of time. I'm screwing this up. Uh, need to go there. Need to get John there. Bring him down here so that we can get that. That to that to that to that. There. Yeah. Go 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 go. Go on, kiddo, go for it! And charge up! Boom! Get wrecked. Oof. Okay, so we know what happens when you fail one of them, it just rewinds time. Now... Can move on and activate the power system. Oop. Yeah, I mean anything above 150 is nice. Yeah, it depends what you want to do with it. I mean, here I get 40 with my parents. This, that's what they're paying for. I can still watch streams and stuff in HD and YouTube and all that kind of stuff without it hitching, stuttering. It takes a while to download a game, but not painfully long, you know. We're talking about instead of being able to download a game that I would normally take about 10, 20 minutes tops to download, it's probably more like an hour and a half to two hours. Although then again, that's only because I am automatically, I've, I've set it to throttle my connection anyway. Since I don't have all that spare bandwidth, I have Steam set to not use it all. It only uses half of what the house actually gets. So that I can use the other half while I'm still waiting for games to download. So, otherwise I couldn't actually watch anything on YouTube while downloading on Steam. Web pages would take forever to load, that kind of thing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, it's like a boo. Oh my god. Ah! this out of the way. Break it now. Okay. this in the way. Ah. There we go.
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is well. Okay. Uh, oh god. trying to do I just under it fast enough no oh my god oh for god's sake we're through we're through Charge it up. Oh. Ugh. Oh, this is already open. Thankfully, that stays open, because that's annoying. <laughs> that right there is bloody annoying. Destiny to install test is 12 minutes for eight, uh, 80 gig. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Um, turn this on. Smashing all the things, of course. Sweet. floor. Two power cells again. Oh, no. first oh my God, those orbs are ow I got stuck get away from me Am I supposed to hit these orbs back at him, maybe? Fuck you! There you go. <laughs> Just wail on him with the pan. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I'm sure there was a proper method for fighting that guy, but... Ah, the hell with it. When in doubt, serve up some fucking chicken dinner. So we've got 
two sections. Oh my god, look at this place. All right. All these internet issues gave me time to set up my network controller. Now I see uh, the ink level next to my network status. Why? My printer was determined to broadcast its ink status. <laughs> so why not? Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, hey, that's a feature I didn't really need, but sure. things. Gotcha. Oh my god. Help. Freeze, thank you. Stay right there, dude. You're fucking bullshit. <laughs> but mm -mm, we're not playing those bloody silly games. You can get fucked. Oh, no, 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 bad doggies. from that as well. Nice. Very good. You're a BP. Weaker this way, it's stronger this way. Oh, it's literally right there behind the tree. I see it. Gotta pull it out. We're getting a lot of salt down here. We've got over a thousand salt. Holy shit. Uh. There's a lot of salt. So salty. Three lettuce. I'm a human refrigerator, apparently. fight coming up. So... Let's heal up. <laughs> She's like, FREEZE! For an apple. Woo! All right. Bonk. Maxed out the connection. Stream Twitch streaming. F uh, 50 gigabyte Blu-ray uncompressed to your TV. 135 megabytes per second. Yeah, like I say, it's like you know a lot of effort to max a connection that strong, right? Uh oh, here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
get that. Move on. And... Hello! Doing good, thank you. How are you? How was your Saturday? Saturday. How was your Saturday? How was your Monday as well? And every day in between. I know what day of the week it is. Shut up, guys. Huge advocate uh, to get my entire six-story building on two of these connections, but my neighbours don't fancy ultra-speed internet. <sighs> yeah. One of the things we're going to struggle with when I move over to where Shy is is that uh, the building that she's in like, it'll be a shared line going into a local splitter first, getting split all off, and then all coming back together again for coming out, you know, to go to every individual, like, house in the in the uh, condo. So, yeah, that's a very unstable connection. And I really wish <laughs> we wouldn't have to put up with that, but we'll have to see what we can do to stabilize things at our end. And if we can't, then we can't. And streaming's gonna be a problem until we move into a house. Oh shit, I didn't see that guy. And then we'll have our own line, obviously, but yeah. I mean, I know they use big, big, robust connections for that kind of stuff, but still. There's only so much. You know, that, that you can split off before it starts getting really weird. Had a nice week uh, playing some Breath of the Wild and Animal Crossing and ESO. Nice! Yeah, I, I was playing a lot of Guild Wars too. <laughs> the, uh... uh <clears throat> the uh, Ice Brood Saga was very much on my agenda. What does this lead? Down here, okay. Hmm. I feel like we're gonna have to split off. I'm gonna need to go down there. Go there, and that. Yes. Oh shit. Get out of here, fish. Another heart. And we get one more. Oh, that did ref that did refill our hearts, though. Nice. But yeah, I was having a lot of fun with it. Really good story. This way. Um, hmm. I, I know what's going to happen. Watch. When we pull this, that's going to drop. Yeah. So we're going to have to leave that on there. I'm going to have to send Sam to go stand on that. Maybe when I pull this, then that won't drop? No, it drops. Hmm. We're gonna have to do it the other way. Pull it, tell Sam to stand back on there, and then I can do that. And then she can come through, stand there. Uh 
back through here and go release that again and bring her through yeah there we go hey engage the brain adding more wrinkles that's what we're doing right now that brings us across here On the angler fish. Fighting a weird bell. One moment. I heard four years. Thank you, whoever that was. Uh, <laughs> trying not to die. Oh god, these guys get yeeted into the walls. That's. Oh. Ow! Ow! Fuck off! Personal distance! Sam! Hey! <laughs> four years, dude! Thank you so much for the four year resub. Oh my god. That OG resub, yo. How's life treating you today, Sam? Good to see you. I really appreciate all of that support. I really do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Um, oh my goodness. Mm, come on, come on, come on. I'm on a timer. Hurry up. gonna do that to me. Oh my god, it's ticking down so fast. Go. Maybe I just need to do that. So close. <laughs> 